Hello mga ka mates I am Raby Esseron from Education Department, major in mathematics. And for today's video, we are going to have a synthesis about how the body system works, specifically to nervous system, muscular system, and integumentary system, and its relationship to human movement. Keep watching! Okay, let's start. First, I will introduce you to the most complex and highly organized body system. It is our nervous system. The nervous system is made up of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The brain and the spinal cord are the central nervous system, while the nerves that go through the whole body makes up the peripheral nervous system. Now, how it works. Nervous system receives information from the sensory organs via nerves, transmit the information to the spinal cord, and processes it in the brain. As we know that the basic workings of the nervous system depends on the tiny cells called neurons or sometimes called nerve cells. Neurons are the fundamental units of the brain and the nervous system. This proves that our brain has millions of them and they have many specialized jobs. There are three broad types of neurons. Sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons. Sensory neurons help us to taste, smell, hear, see, and feel the things around us. Motor neurons play a role in movement, including voluntary and involuntary movement. According to Sang Hu Han MD, these neurons allow the brain and spinal cord to communicate the muscles, organs, and glands all over the body. Interneurons are neural intermediaries found in our brain and spinal cord. They are the most common type of neuron. They pass signals from sensory neuron and other interneuron to motor neuron and other interneuron. For example, yung nakita mo yung mahal mo na may kasamang iba, ipipikit mo na lang yung mata at kusa ka na lang lalayo. <laughs> no, not that. For example, when you touch something hot, sensory neurons in your fingertips send signals to interneurons in your spinal cord which makes you aware of the heat. Some interneurons pass the signal into motor neurons in your hand which allows you to move your hand away. Other interneurons send signals to the pain center in your brain and you experience the pain. Next is the muscular system. It composed of specialized cells called muscle fibers. Their predominant function is contractibility. Nearly all the movement in the body is the result of muscle contraction. There are many types of muscular system. First of these is the skeletal muscles. This type of muscle creates movement in the body. When the nervous system signals to muscles contract, groups of muscle work together to move the skeleton. Second is cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle is involuntary muscle, such as when your heart rate increases when you are scared. And third is smooth muscle. Smooth muscles makes up the walls of hollow organs, respiratory passageways, and blood vessels. Like cardiac muscle, smooth muscle is involuntary, and it also contracts in response to stimuli and nerve impulses. The main function of muscular system is mobility. It is to allow movement. When muscles contract, it contributes to gross movement. It refers to large coordination of motion such as walking, running, and swimming. And fine movement refers to smaller coordination of motion such as speaking, writing, and facial expression. Lastly, integumentary system. The integumentary system is made up of several organs and structures including the skin, hair, nails, glands, and nerves. The primary function of the integumentary system is to protect the inside of the body from the elements in the environment like bacteria, pollution, and UV lights from the sun. As we move our body or do our daily routine by doing physical activity and exercises, integumentary system helps us to first, protect our body tissues and organs, second, protects infection and foreign invaders, three, keeps the body from becoming dehydrated by storing water, and four, performs a receptor jobs for pressure, pain, heat, cold, or touch. To sum up, nervous system controls our movement voluntarily and involuntarily by the works of neurons or nerve cells. By the help of muscular system, it allows us to move. And the integumentary system helps our body to perform a receptor job. That's it! I hope you have learned something from me today, especially how the body system works and its relationship to human movement. Once again, I am Ray Esteron. At your service, see you to my next vlog. Shout out to Sir Jomari Tortonga, our PE1 instructor, and comment down to shout out for the next vlog. Bye!